suicidal and to uh, delude us into thinking that up is not up and down is not down. So we're all over the place. <laughs> Upside down people flying around a thousand miles an hour, hocus pocus. Keep your comb in your back pockets, guys, while you're upside down in Australia. You're spinning around at a thousand miles an hour. <laughs> Aloha, everyone, and uh, Santos Dumbo Nachi. How you doing, bro? Well, Santos, I have to make a few videos before I debate you because, you know, just like somebody wouldn't go out and surf and, you know, ankle slapper waves, <laughs> I'm not going to debate somebody who's not on my level. You know, or at least, let's get you past the IQ of 33. <laughs> so, that being said, Mr. Dumbonachi, Flathead, let me explain something to you that's very basic to understand and grasp that you're completely missing. It's flying right over your flathead. Because when the Earth revolves and you're going, It's a thousand miles an hour. Hey, knuckle sack for fucking brains. <laughs> it's revolving one spin in 24 hours. Do you understand? It spins around one revolution in 24 hours. You show me anything that spins around only one time in 24 hours that creates any centrifugal force whatsoever. Well, it's so light and it's basically undetectable. <laughs> So you're picturing in your little two-celled flat pea brain of yours that the Earth is spinning around at a thousand revolutions per hour or per minute, whatever, per second. You're, you're thinking of something spinning around fast and it's throwing everything off of it. <laughs> Knucklehead. It could be two billion miles an hour. It wouldn't matter if it only revolves around one time and 24 motherfucking hours homie come on get some spark in them two brain cells of yours <laughs> oh my god we're gonna have to ask you to buckle your seat belt <laughs> and by the way santos you see when you're flying in an airplane you cannot tell what speed you're going. You can't tell if you're going 50 miles an hour or 5,000 miles an hour. Because you yourself are traveling that speed. Which is why we don't fly off the earth. We are all traveling at the same speed. Therefore you don't feel that you're going 1,000 miles an hour. It's funny because your two brain cells act like, you know, the person is sticking their head out the, uh, plane window going 500 miles an hour or something or you know people on earth are going a thousand miles a, an hour so therefore you know the wind's blowing in your face no knucklehead you missed the whole concept it's so simple seriously Santos it's unbelievable that you don't grasp that you see that's why if you stop just like a car if you suddenly stop what happens you continue going you know whatever speed you were going before you instantly stopped the vehicle that you were traveling in. So it's amazing that you don't grasp basic concepts and principles and laws of physics. When something spins, we are talking about the physical nature of angular momentum, which is the inertia created by the movement and the speed of the mass. And we can see this demonstrated in the Da Vinci flywheel, which, as you see here, the balls are hanging straight down because there is no inertia spin. And when you spin it, the balls will lift up in the air to an angular angle because of the inertia that is created, the force that actually lifts the balls up and outwards, which would happen to the Earth the people would fall off the earth if it spun around at thousands of miles an hour and revolutions an hour. But it 
revolves only one time within 24 hours. Therefore, no inertia momentum or angular momentum is created. So it is, but it's so small that it would never throw anyone off <laughs> because it's not spinning fast enough to create that momentum angular inertia that would throw everyone off. So just imagine sitting here watching this Earth spin around one revolution one time within five minutes is incredibly slow and painful to sit there that whole time watching it. Well, if you sat there and watched the Earth spin around and revolve one time within 24 hours, it would be so slow in fact that if you watched a video, you literally could not even see it moving. That's how slow one revolution is in 24 hours. So there would be no um, gravitational outward force of inertia created. The vertical momentum would not be created because the spin level is so slow that it would literally cause nothing to fly off of it. So now that you understand the 101 basics of physics, we can move on. You're spinning around at a thousand miles an hour. <laughs> You're spinning around at a thousand miles an hour. <laughs> You're spinning around at a thousand.